this is actually the main um, the main new thing in this application and the one we are actually expecting the community to really test and give us feedback on. This is just the first version. And uh, what are offline analytics or what do we mean with offline analytics? Um, what, what the application is uh, doing now is to display in the analytics tabs, the analytical objects that you have created on your data visualizer. And the ones that are supported are pivot tables and then charts, column line pie radar charts and single values. The others are not um, supported at the moment. So um, offline analytics are available you, you see, we, is wherever you see this icon means analytics are available. And they are all across the application in the home screen, in the program screen, <coughs> sorry, programs screen or in the data set screen. The analytics, when we say offline analytics, what we mean is that the analytics are calculated in the device with the device that is available in the application and without requiring internet access. We are not connecting to the server to download uh, analytics values from the analytical analytics tables. We are calculating, in, calculating the values in the application. What we download from the server is the configuration of the tables or the chats so that we can display them and put the title, etc. But the values are calculated in the application. There are, of course, limitations, and I have uh, put a link here to the documentation, but um, basically, when, if you go to the documentation, you can find here at the bottom, you, you can find the limitations. Eh? The, the limitations are that only the objects that I enumerated are supported. They have to be well formed. The user needs to have view access. And then uh, for pivot tables, we are limiting for now the number of columns and, and headlines, header columns and lines to one. And then in the charts, there are a number of, uh, we are not limiting the series or category, categories, but there, I can say, I, I think we can say that most of the functionalities that you configure under options like trend lines or accumulated values or round the uh, skip rounding or we have we are not supporting this for now. We are coming out with a quite basic version of analytics to be expanded based on feedback and further requirements. But it's it's very well documented there if you need to look for specific uh, functionalities. More about analytics is that you can group your charts or tables into thematic groups that will appear like these bubbles here, similar to dashboards on web. We just don't want to confuse uh, confuse uh, everyone by using the same terms in different ways. So we are calling these groups of charts and tables. And to create the groups and to configure what you want to see in the app, uh, you will need to use the, um, the Android settings web application that I will demo later um, to show you how to configure this. What the end, end user can do um, when using the applications, uh, the analytics is to filter out either by period or unit or to change the, the chart type between table, chart, and single value. And that's, that's what we are allowing the user to do currently. The configuration and what is available or not, it's all at the moment under the administrator user. So analytics are as I said here, they are in the home screen. Here we are. Or, so now we can switch, right? This is data entry and this is data analysis. If we enter uh, into a data set, we have the exact same um, button here in the navigation bar for analytics. And it looks the same for programs. So the navigation is very similar. We just add or remove options based on where the user is in tracker programs. Here we see the maps because um, uh, coordinates are configured for this, for this program. So let's go back to our home screen and explore these analytics. 
these are the groups I was mentioning. So this user, for example, can explore its data, his or her data for the antenatal care clinic. And here are the different charts that the admin user has added or for the malaria program. And then these are the charts and tables that have been configured. So now let's stay on this example. What can the user do? Uh, the user can change and change to bar chart and change to line chart and change to single value, which will display the last value available, most uh, recent one. Let's go back to our table. And then this is not, this is different in the case of the pie chart because parameters don't work in the same way. The user can only change to a table, but in the other, in the rest of charts, uh, all types are available. And then the filters, the user can filter out, can filter out based on the org unit. So all will choose all the org units uh, for that the user is assigned to or has access to data, or can choose a specific one. So I'm gonna filter by Yandama. So now we see that in Yandama, there is only one case. We can also, then the filter, the active filters are here. I'm gonna reset this and filter out by period now. They can be combined. I'm doing this for, for the more purposes. So this is monthly, so I want to see it weekly. It's always going to, the, the we always offer the last relative periods. It's always going to be based on the last X periods and the maximum number depends on, on the type of period. If you say yearly, we give these three options. These are the limitations I, I was mentioning, like all periods are default. Sorry, uh, relative periods. For months, we make it up to 12. However, for weeks, going to 52 was too much for a, for a small screen, so we are limiting it in 12. And then when the user selects um, this, we are asking always, do you want to include the current period? We, want, we didn't want to make it another tick, but we know sometimes you might want it or not. So, so this will stop in a moment, and then this is how it looks after filtering out. And the last thing I want to show you is how is this configured? So by opening the Android settings web app, I'm going to go directly to the new parts, which are this analytics home programming data set. So here is where you see the groups, this is the antenatal care clinic group, malaria program group, and then inside, you can see the, the different charts. It's the same for programs. You add them based on you per se, which program you want to add the visualization to, and it's the same for the sets. So you first choose a chart, then you can add a title and add it to a group or not. You can add here the name of a user just to see if the user has access sorry, to that uh, specific uh, object that you are trying to display because otherwise it will not appear in the device. So in this case, we have access and then you just add it. 